Maryland is investing more money than ever into public education under the Kerwin plan, but are students benefiting? As Project Baltimore's Chris Papps explains, school systems across the region are cutting jobs and programs. When Maryland's legislature in 2021 passed the blueprint for Maryland's future, also known as the Kerwin Plan, taxpayers were promised a world-class public education system. But just three years into the plan's implementation, many parents are not happy. This was the scene last month in Howard County as parents and students rallied to save teacher positions and elementary level programs the casualties of budget cuts set to take effect next year. According to online petitions, which have collected thousands of signatures, the proposed budget would cut 20 gifted and talented elementary teacher positions, reduce the number of GT math classes in fourth and fifth grade, and eliminate third grade orchestra. If these kinds of cuts can happen at Howard County, they can happen in any county. And they are. Teacher layoffs are being discussed in Harford County as the district struggles to afford mandated increases in teacher pay and the cost of hiring extra personnel to cover classrooms so teachers can have more planning time. In Baltimore County, proposed job cuts mean larger class sizes for some grades. The Baltimore County Board of Education recently passed a new budget that cut 300 mainly vacant positions. We are actively monitoring those class sizes. A BCPS spokesperson said class size averages in middle school and high schools will increase by two students, while third through fifth grade class sizes will go down by one student. Our goal is really to move Baltimore County forward. What is your message to taxpayers as it looks like the blueprint isn't quite working out as taxpayers are promised? Well, I, you know, I wouldn't say that it's not working out exactly. Any reform has, as it's implemented over a 10 year period, is going to have changes within the system. Maryland Senate President Bill Ferguson told Project Baltimore the blueprint is not universal and school systems have their own unique circumstances they need to address. Plus, he said, the blueprint is only in its third year of a planned 10-year implementation. They're going to be tough moments, but I think in the end, the right increased uh, uh, investment with the right accountability will make the difference to make a better school system across the state. Three years into any program, the, pr the growing pains should be uh, over with. When the blueprint passed, it was the largest education funding increase in state history. 30 billion additional dollars over the first 10 years and 4 billion every year after that. And it's because of that price tag. We're not seeing the results. That, that David Williams with the Taxpayers Protection Alliance says there is no room for error. Everyone took a victory lap in Annapolis when Kerwin was passed and signed into law. And I would give Kerwin a failing grade on two ends. First, from the taxpayer's point of view, and secondly, from a student point of view, because these services are being cut in certain school districts. Williams says one of the problems may be that the blueprint was written before COVID passed during COVID and was never changed to meet the new economic and social challenges that now exist post COVID. Taxpayers, students and teachers can't wait 10 years to get answers. They need answers now because we're talking about billions of dollars that taxpayers are on the hook for and this could be all wasted if something isn't done immediately. I think at the end of the day, what we want to see are outcomes, and we want to see all kids having stronger outcomes. That's what the blueprint was built on, and it is a 10-year ramp up. So uh, these are the early stages. As school systems finalize their budgets for next school year, Project Baltimore will be tracking how your tax dollars are spent under Kerwin. For updates online, head to foxbaltimore.com or follow us on social media. I'm Chris Pabst, and this is Project Baltimore. I'm Chris Pabst. Thanks for watching. Here's another story to watch. Also, if you have a story idea, please send us a message.